Okay, what this means, this square, is that in, in this case I have one face selected, which means that everything that comes afterwards is just going to affect that face. I'm going to show you a clear example of this. I'm going to add another edit poly and select all my faces up here. And uh, because I'm going, to, I know already why I'm going to apply it. I'm going to tessellate it, which is to subdivide it in this case. Okay, and then I'm going to add a displace modifier. Do you remember the displace modifier from the last uh, class? Of course, right now it's not doing anything because I don't have anything, so I'm just going to add a bitmap. And there it goes. Right now, the displace modifier is just affecting this face. That's because in this edit poly, I just have that face uh, selected. I'm going to just grow this again. You see what is happening? It's just affecting those. If I grow it again, it's affecting all of those. Quite clear defect. You, this is quite useful when you just want to UV map a specific part or apply a modifier to just a specific part of the edit poly and then just collapse that. Another thing that I, I mentioned at the beginning is that uh, working with shortcuts is always going to make your workflow much faster. In that sense, to uh, select the sub-elements of the object in the edit poly mode, I mostly use uh, vertex edges and faces, and I will show you in which case is interesting to use border. 